everyone, I'm Nikki Mehra, a fashion blogger based out of New Delhi. Now I'm sure when you see a fashion blogger stand here before you to give a TED talk, you'd expect me to give you a textbook inspirational quote of how you should believe in your dreams, how you should follow your dreams. But I'm going to tell you to do the exact opposite of this. I'm going to tell you it is okay to not follow your dreams. You know why? Because life is not like the movies. You're not born with a childhood dream. You're not sure your entire life. And you don't work with all your will and passion in achieving that dream. Dreams change. Life is more complicated than that. You grow up to be a different person and your dreams and goals are not etched in stone. And that's okay. Are you still best friends with your nursery friends? If the answer to that question is no, then if you are hote hote dost peaches chut sakte hain, to sapne kyun nahi? That is what I'm here to tell you. That it is okay if your dreams change. You can grow up to be a different person and want to be something entirely different than what you imagined in your childhood. So next time someone tells you that you're lost or you don't know what you're doing with your life, tell them this, I am not lost. I'm growing, I'm evolving. And a part of this process means that my dreams and goals are evolving too. Let me tell you how this fashion blogger was born. Now, I have to admit, Fashion blogging was not a career choice I had foreseen as a kid. I mean, sure, I would paint my face with my mom's makeup every now and then, or I would click 10,000 pictures on my dad's old camera, but that was, an, that was at an age where I was too young to care about career choices. Surprisingly, for my mom and dad, I was a really good student. I excelled in school and I had my entire life planned out. I would take up economics as my career and work towards consulting. And I did just that. I graduated with an honors degree in economics from Delhi University and I loved the subject. Then a graduate degree in economics happened. And uh, if I remember, I think I was really involved in the first year of my studies. I mean, as involved as a student studying linear algebra and real analysis can be. Now, I'm sure you know, this course can be really demanding and really hard. And it was the same for me. So I really needed a creative outlet and fashion was something I was always interested in. Back then, blogging was very new in India. It was not really developed, so I did not get into this with any particular goal in mind. But to my surprise, I started gaining a significant following of women of my age who were very interested in seeing how I helped them with wardrobe solutions. And I have to be honest, that feeling, that first initial feeling of being famous for an obscure college girl is exhilarating. But I did not quit college. This is not one of those inspiring stories. I feel India may as these stories come to Nego Milti hai. Maybe because we're a risk averse society, or maybe because we are brought up in a way that we have to do that you have to do a secure job. Leni hai. Or maybe because we have an imaginary timeline in our head, especially women, 21 the graduation. Uske baad ya to masters ya ek respectful, stable career. Late 20s mein shadi. And by 30, you have to have a kid. Otherwise, they say your biological clock is ticking. But I feel like that holds back a lot of talent. I mean, I'm sure a lot of you are here because you love economics. But I'm also sure that a lot of you, a lot of you here have different interests. Probably those that are not so well paying your opportunity costs, so to say. And I had my opportunity cost as well. So I did not quit college. I decided to stick around, much to the annoyance of my teachers by this point. 
and I tried to juggle between blogging and studies. Now, I have to say, it was hard, just like everyone else. Because when you have a respectful career, एक ऐसा करियर जिसे सोसाइटी लुकअप टू करती है से एक ऐसे करियर में शिफ्ट होते हो जहां सोसाइटी लुक डाउन अपॉन करती है इट्स नॉट अ केक वॉक माय पेरेंट्स हैड टू हियर ऑल सॉर्ट्स ऑफ नेस्टी थिंग्स एंड दैट किल्ड मी इनसाइड यू नो दोस मीन रिलेटिव्स दैट यू हैव आई हैव अ कपल ऑफ दोस एज वेल एंड माय पेरेंट्स हैड टू हियर ऑल सॉर्ट्स ऑफ थिंग्स दे हर्ड स्टफ लाइक यू डोंट लव योर डॉटर Uh, you're not responsible parents because you're letting her make such a bold career choice then of course was my partner who had to break up with me because his parents weren't comfortable with me putting my life out like that on social media i heard things like uh, oh nikki modeling kar rahi hai sharif ghar ki ladkiyan modeling nahi karti uh, nikki ke bhai ko dekho of course the inevitable comparison my brother was this really successful finance guy doing his mba from iim ahmedabad and here i was somebody who had such a stable economic career and gave that up for something as bold and unstable as blogging me phone pe hoti thi to even mom dad actually used to think that i am doing nothing with my life where in fact i was not managing one but two careers um meri friends i'm sure aapka koi to aisa friend hoga jisse aapne suna hoga oh blogger isko to free ke kapde pehenne ke paise milte hain i had multiple such friends around me i remember uh, i had my semester exams coming up and uh, swarovski chose me as the indian ambassador it was a fancy trip i had to go to paris for 3 days shoot all over the city for sorosky's in house magazine and my macroeconomics paper was clashing with this so i told my professor i had fallen sick and i requested him to postpone the exam he agreed of course but he told me that he will make a tougher exam for me because he has to rewrite a separate paper which now that i think about it was a very unnecessary condition but i agreed to it nonetheless to make matters worse my flights were scheduled in such a way mujhe directly airport se college jana tha to give my exam so imagine on my way back from my first international work, work trip in the plane i was revising my macroeconomic notes while obviously being sleep deprived what i'm trying to say is that it was all worth it for me so when everything was said and done i realized the lengths to which i was willing to go to for a career possibility that did not even exist a year ago and at the cost of a career for which i had worked for my entire life this made me realize what i actually wanted to do after college my interests had changed and that is what i would like to focus upon here there is always so much talk about chasing your dreams following your dreams but people never talk about the fact that dreams can change too they can and they will change it is a part of you growing up your goals are not etched in stone sure there is a lot of some cost involved i had spent 22 years of my life working towards this goal and i was really good at it i was the topper of my batch but i realized maybe i was even better at doing something else and i loved it more as well so for those of you who are on a path that you're sure of go for it economics needs people like you our global our domestic economies are not at their best and to be frank the 21st century is really missing its keynes and freedmen but for those of you who are not sure listen to your inner voice ek andar se awaaz about what you love to do and if you've not felt it you will i assure you and when you do do not ignore that voice you will be scared you will be skeptical people around you will be skeptical and people around you will advise you against it but do not listen to them 
I'm confident you will enjoy every bit of this new adventure. The successes, the failures, all of it. It's not like the movies, to be honest. It's not like you wake up one day and you realize this is not what you want to do. You press pause, you press reset, and bam, you're successful. You have to pay your dues. I struggled immediately when I joined this career because no industry is welcoming to newcomers. And I had a rude realization of this when I had a really big project. It was one of my first big projects. I was so excited. I rehearsed all my lines. I was on set before time. We were set to roll. The director called me and wanted to have a little chat. When he got to know that I'm, I do not come from a fashion background and that I'm an economics student, he asked me to pack up and leave because he was not confident that I have the experience that's required to be a part of this project. And I have to do that. I feel that when you have a steady career, a offbeat career, mein shift hote ho, to sabse pehli battle is the internal battle that you have to fight. The battle to convince yourself to overcome the fear that you will be as successful or you will earn as much as you were set to earn in your previous career. I had that battle as well. Because initially when I joined the industry, there were far more successful people than me. And I was not getting opportunities. So for the first year and a half, I either worked for free or I worked very low paying jobs. And that constantly made me question my decision. It constantly made me feel, Nikki, did you become too inspired by these motivational speeches? Should you have stuck to reality? I asked myself this question all the time for the first year and a half. What I'm trying to tell you here is whenever you decide to shift your goals, do it without hesitation, but expect that for a while it will be a harder path to pursue because you're moving outside your comfort zone. So expect the rejections. I worked day and night to reach a point where I was the only Indian influencer to be flown to meet Rihanna. I've been in and on the cover of magazines and I'm so proud to have a community of close to four lakh people now. But this was not luck. And honestly, I feel luck rarely comes by. I mean, ask 2020, right? So from my experiences of uncertainty and hardships that crop up when you're changing your field at any given point, I decided to help those who are going through a similar phase I went, went through a couple of years ago. My team and I are developing a tangible platform where the doctors, lawyers, engineers, teachers, economists of tomorrow have a shot at their plan B and know that their plan A is not their entire life etched out in stone. Because I truly believe in this. I mean, imagine India if Gandhi had not quit law. Or imagine a cricketing world in which Dhoni was still a ticket collector. Or imagine a DC universe in which Bruce Wayne still continued to do his family business. Their decisions to alter their career choices made the world a better place for us. I mean, except for Batman was a Superman, which we all agree, I'm sure. It is only when you go after your calling, when you cut yourself slack about having changed your dreams midway and you follow your true calling, is it that you make an impact? Only then will you create a legacy. Think of legacy as your personal trademark that you leave on those who cross your paths with. To be honest, to create a legacy, you don't have to change the world. You don't have to be a public figure. You just have to make your corner of the world a better place to live in. The content I create on social media is to entertain. And I have worked hard to build my credibility enough to influence the choices of some of those who follow me. But that is not legacy. That is not legacy. That is not what I'm leaving behind. I will believe that I've left something behind 
if I can influence even one person and make them believe that it is never too late. And it is never too late. So do not think that if you've worked towards something your entire life, you're not prepared or you're not going to be good at something new. Because aren't the best road trips those which are sudden and impromptu? And honestly, when you take that leap of faith, many years from now, you will look down and you will realize that both your dreams, the one you grew up with and the one you realized was your true passion, are both equally rewarding. One of my economics friends is working with the Delhi government to reform the education system. And the same government asked me to promote their tourism board. One of my friends has written a book on economic history and I'm here giving a TED talk. So what I'm trying to tell you is next time you hear a motivational speech that talks about following your dreams or doing what you love, don't forget to tell yourself that it is okay if what you love changes over time. Cut yourself that slack, enjoy the process and go make your legacy.